tiny dots. Well, hello folks, Hamster here again. My second vlog, although the first one technically hasn't been put up yet because my computer's playing silly buggers and I can't edit any video. Um, we've actually just ordered a new one, so I'm hoping to find some software and cut it and put it up and then I might stagger these a bit. Or if anyone has any helpful comments on what kind of editing software you can use on a Windows 8 system, that would be much appreciated. As I said in my previous video, I am new to all of this, so... Thank you, buddy. So you have to bear with me while I figure it all out. How to do various shit and bits and pieces. The one thing that I want to cover today, which is probably the, the one thing that nobody said anything about yet. What I mentioned last time again is the Cirque du Wales new eco-friendly truck circuit that's going on in my hometown of Riverdale. Those who have no idea what it is, it's going to be a dedicated bike circuit. So it has no intention of hosting Formula One, but it wants things like MotoGP, British Superbikes, World Superbikes, etc. Proper dedicated track to biking. And bikes are huge in that area. For those of people who haven't ridden some roads in Wales, go and do it. Having lived in the London area and Fanning around down here in some of the roads, it's just not even close. Let's jump in here. But yeah, there's going to be some eco development, motorsport thing there, a bunch of hotels, a go kart track, a motocross track, as well as three and a half mile circuit, which basically is going to replace Donington and Silverstone in the motorbike world. Although I'm still not convinced that we're not going to go for Formula One at some point. But, who knows? Things being dedicated to bikes, they are different circuits. I can't claim to understand to know why, but it wouldn't surprise me Three and a half million quid being pumped in. It all seems to have the go-ahead. It's got five-year deal with Dorna to do the MotoGP, with an extension of, or the option of another five years. I'm not quite sure how that works. allowed to be built on and it's a humongous area so it's being divided up across quite a few areas in Blind and Blend. 
but that apparently application's been sent through now. So it's just a matter of time. We'll get in the tick box, which should be done in the beginning of next year. But Circuit of Wales has done a deal with Donington. So the whole thing will be going to Donington next year with the aim of posting the first one the year after that. I know they've also applied for a £50 million grant to the Welsh Development Agency, which Silverstone really didn't like. Not surprisingly. But apparently you're not allowed to use government money for private funded something or other. But they've got around it based on the fact that it's allowed in underdeveloped areas in order to encourage businesses, etc, etc. So it's gone to David Cameron, London of all knowledge. And I, they don't see a problem with it apparently. So 50 million quid there, they've signed some solar panel deal with some Japan company I believe, which is 70 million quid up the top of my head. So that's done. It does genuinely all seem to be ploughing ahead. And like I said earlier, the line of Gwent isn't, it's had, well, Ebervale, should we say, has had a little bit of investment over the last 10 years. There's a new station got in there, they've knocked down what was the, the Evervale Steelworks and they've built a new school and a hospital and some houses and, and a new leisure centre. And I know the, the head of the valley, which is the main dual carriageway up there, is going through a massive redevelopment. It's been being built on for years now but it has been extended and it's going to make access to the, the whole thing much, much, much easier from the M4. So next time I'm up there, I'll try to get some video of the roads. The actual site, excuse me. But the aim is to create 6,000 jobs, stop so many people going down to Cardiff or Newport and working. It'd be good. Uh, just I can't believe that it's coming from my hometown. It, it seems bananas to me. I kind of still don't believe it, even though it's the, all the signs are really, really, really good. Stupidly good. But it's going to make a huge difference to that community. It did, it pissed me off. It was when they announced it. Dorna had signed an X deal with the Circuit of Wales to host MotoGP. And some of the comments from ignorant morons that you can't host, this was genuinely one, you can't host a British GP in Wales. What's it doing in Wales? Hello, we're part of Britain, you fucking turd. And the roads and back alleys up there are going to be thing and it's going to be worse than Silverstone. Well, I've driven the roads to Silverstone and I've driven the roads to Donington and they are nowhere near as good as what the redeveloped heads of the valley is going to be and where this circuit is going to be is directly off it. It's going to be far easier, far more parking. These people are stupid. They just don't like the fact that it's not going to be near them anymore. But, for all the complete tools there are, there has been some really good comments. People
people are looking forward to going up to Wales and riding the roads and making X, Y and Z of it. I watched a video yesterday from the Crumble where he'd driven across to Wales and was driving through the, the Black Mountains, so Crack and Beacons and things like that. And it looked brilliant. I don't know what road he was on, but I intend to go find it. I went to the TT at the beginning of the year and we'd done all the south coast. We went down to Pendine Sands and then back up to Aberera. Stayed the night in Aberera. Then drove, rode up to Aberystwyth, up to uh, Aberdovey or Mighty Caliph, Aberdovey, all the way up to Dolgathlai, and then up to the north coast and across to get to Liverpool. It took us a couple of days. The road, the, in between, I think it was Abu Dhabi and Dog Athlay, the road is awesome. It looks out onto the sea, you've got brick walls either side, but it climbs this hill and you can see all the way up it, indicate numbers. So you can see if there's any traffic coming and you, you, you can stick that in the speed limit. <coughs> and have some real good fun up that road. It's bananas. For those who haven't done it, go over to Wales and try some of the back arse roads that lead nowhere. Oh, numbers. I needed that turning. sooner than that pal. Thank you lady.
show. Officially knackered. Football then for another week, but another win. And for those who know the area, Pebble Hill closed. It's a massive thing when you ask me. Especially given he's wearing a t-shirt. 